Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I haven't played Call of Duty in quite some time and the reason for that being is I've been fucking obsessed with Elden Ring. I've been obsessed with playing it and I've also been playing some other games as well. I've been playing Battlefield 2042 and Power World on the side and then after I finish Elden Ring, which I don't actually know when it'll be. I don't know how long I'll create Elden Ring content for in terms of just things alongside Call of Duty. I'm then gonna probably go play like Elder Scrolls Oblivion or something. Not for the channel, but for the purpose is my own enjoyment but today we're basically just i haven't played call of duty in ages and i typically would be making call of duty content regularly but again i just didn't find the urge to play the game i was so hooked into elden ring and playing other games that i kind of felt like for a moment losing out on playing all these other options and playing all these other games are growing around but i have to remember where my roots are where my, where my joys are and i'm not gonna lie since getting back on call of duty i've been thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it i would do the calling card grind for the game however i'm gonna be honest I just I don't have feel like I have enough time before Black Ops 6 comes out before and I just won't play the game enough It's just as simple as that So I've been going back and forth with the whole controller versus keyboard and mouse and seeing which one I prefer And this is just a base ps5 controller and I have a keyboard mouse I have the shroud logitech mouse and I have the shroud logitech keyboard Don't really know if I'll ever be going back to controller I'm gonna jump to some 10 v 10 mosh pit because depending on the map the 10 v 10 mosh pit is actually really really fun when I'm playing on a controller I feel aim assist doing so much work. I don't feel like I'm actually earning the kills per se. Whereas mouse and keyboard, I feel like I'm actually killing people and using my ability to aim, we'll say. Also, I did just receive my physical Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree art book. So I have that kind of sitting over to my right on the bed. And if for the and if you guys ordered the I believe it's the collective collector's edition, because I have the version with the Mesmer statue. If you guys ordered that, you should be receiving that soon like i said i just got mine today it's been so long since since i you know even had the like chance to buy it that i actually forgot about it i really do want to go back like I'm, I'm still like every single literally every single day i'm like conflicted because i snipe way better on mouse and keyboard I think it's just naturally because of, again, I, I've been playing it for so long, like, and in recent memory. But at the same time, it's also, like, I know I would have more fun, I think, in the long run, because this is the main game that I play. Like, I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not hitting that on a controller i'm just i'm just not not hitting that on a controller either or that i'm just when i play on a controller i feel like all of the skill that i and all like the awareness that i could have is just taken up in me trying to uh it's taken up in oh okay make sure my set my aim is centered and shit like that but instead i'm like i'm way better at this than like what it shows on a controller it's kind of annoying That guy must be doing challenges. I don't know why he keeps doing that. I'm literally just sitting up here. I have like no, I have no reason to move. Like I just have no reason to move. They're just running in front of me. I was sitting up in that window for probably uh, maybe half the game. And I had the whole time, no reason to move, none. They just kept fucking jumping in front of me. See, that's what my aim looks like on a controller. I get a couple really good shots in and I'm and my and then it just drifts off into fucking Narnia. My aim just bit. either that or it's really, really solid and really, really good. So I don't know. Also, this event is going on. It's the press F camo. I'm not gonna lie, I saw a couple video people make videos on this. I, I just, with this cam um, with this gun taking 60 hours, I might go get it tonight and then make have a video on it tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but I definitely want to try and get some more Elden Ring. Um, so I have to also <laughs> have to go fucking get a bunch of that shit done. Yeah, I'm currently just doing the the charm grind or whatever for the weapons I really like at the moment. And if I run, if I get bored and I run out of time, then I'll, you know, run around with like launchers and shit like that. I just finished Forge. So now I'm on the pr on prices for the XRK. I have a spreadsheet that I would use for the camos and the gr and grinding and such like that. But every time a new season comes out or they, or they release a new weapon, the spreadsheet updates, but it doesn't update live. It updates as a brand new document. So I have to 
recheck everything to stay up to date every like like halfway through each battle pass it's cat or at the end it's really annoying i will probably be on top of the camel grind in black Ops 6 like i got really far behind on this one because when the game released i just played it for a tiny bit and then i just stopped playing it really i didn't really have an idea of what i wanted to do for content and so playing all the other games as well as having people in my ear constantly tell me how like how like stupid i am i guess for trying to play call of duty i really just didn't it didn't go well I will be trying to stream more as well. I'll be primarily streaming from, it'll be, a lot of it will be variety, but um, I am probably gonna be streaming a lot of Call of Duty. I've, I've stopped trying to like fight it and be like, and accept like, oh, I really enjoy Call of Duty every year. Instead of worrying about what everyone else is playing, just enjoy what I'm playing. And it's made everything really, really enjoyable. So I'll probably be streaming some Call of Duty. I wanna try streaming again, cause I do have a lot of fun with it. I've also been really enjoying sniping if it's not, like, obvious. Dude, I can't- Teammate, stop running in front of me. Holy shit. This guy got an attack chopper on, like, one of the worst maps for it. I gotta go bad. I'm running mag holster with the tag mask because I've just learned that with explosives, if I have to ch like, if it's gonna if it's gonna kill me, just just kill me, just fucking outright kill me. We need those tags. We need the tags. We need the tags. I say this. I have 27 kills and eight confirms. Yeah, this XRK build I have is crazy. It feels so fucking good. My centering also feels like fantastic right now. Or at least more so. Oh! No! Oh! If I collat, dude. Oh, if I got the no scope collat. Oh, no. are interested in seeing some streams definitely make sure you drop a follow on the twitch i'll leave that in the description but i am fucking loving like not just today but in the past like maybe couple days i have been loving call of duty i don't know what it is in comparison to how it used to feel to me but i've been really really enjoying it and we lost 63 kills, 27 confirms. I probably could have confirmed a, a, a good amount of a good amount of those. This guy said GG easy. I'm not even gonna entertain this. I typically would type back. I'm not even gonna entertain it this time. 38 and 15. I went fucking 63 and 19. I had four more deaths and almost double your kills. <laughs> even my even my own teammate goes, bro dropped 63 on him and he's and got told a GG easy. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking funny. But yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go edit this and then I'm gonna crank out uh, the rest of the park. Hopefully as much of the battle pass as I can because literally it will end by the time I'm back from work tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. It allows me to know if you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia signing off. Fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace guys.